Hello everyone and welcome to the Star Seed Dragon channel. Um, this is our new perspective of the day. And we are looking at the Tarot of the Divine. Our cards are the Five of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Four of Wands. This is a beautiful deck. It's filled with such imagery. So let's start with the Five of Wands. This is in the element of fire. And these are gentlemen that are practicing for combat, right? So fives speak of uh, challenge, competition, strife, um, having to overcome an obstacle, right? Or a situation. So um, this is like practice. This is, you know, working towards that victory because after the five of wands is the six of wands, which is victory and overcoming those challenges. And that's what we are striving for with the fives <laughs> is challenge and um, um, trying not to be defeated. Sometimes we are, sometimes we're not, right? That's what practice is for. That's what these experiments are for, my friends. So the King of Cups speaks to, um, obviously, a king in the suit of uh, cups is um, water element, and it's emotionally based. The king is the ruler of the land, and he focuses on how to best protect and care for the people under him, the people in his care, the people he is charged with taking care of. He also speaks to being um, emotionally stable and thoughtful and graceful in heeding certain advice and um, understanding enough to gracefully decline bad advice, right? but he does um, have an emotional stability and an emotional um, awareness and understanding that helps him to be compassionate and loving and caring. And um, it also talks about um, possibly a new love or the strengthening of an existing love in your life that um, is helping to create stability and uh, thrive, right? Uh, sometimes relationships take practice, yes. The Four of Wands, this is a beautiful Four of Wands, by the way, but it speaks of um, the 11 11 portal, right? It speaks of these people are already married, but it speaks to getting married. It speaks to celebration, a celebration of new life, uh, the celebration of Beltane, uh, new life springing forward, the nurturing of uh, a new shared experience together, yes. So with the King of Cups next to the Four of Wands, that tells me uh, that there could be a a new development in a relationship or a new relationship developing into something more strong, uh, intimate, uh, something that is uh, complementary to uh, that feeling of wholeness or completeness, right? Something that uh, helps you to strive to be a better you, right? There's always that inspiration. Uh, they, the, uh, the couple in the Four of Wands, just they look at each other so lovingly and so completely and utterly unconditionally in love with each other, right? So sometimes that takes practice. Sometimes there's, um, there's uh, things that you have to learn and develop. Uh, uh, as far as communication skills and understanding skills and, 
you know, walking a mile in the other person's shoes to understand where they're coming from and to actually want to understand, right? Uh, what is it that is jumping out at you? What is it that you are seeing? Put that in the comment section below. Let's help each other help each other, right? Give each other new perspectives. So today we got um, Oracle cards from the Romance Angels and then this one, Believe in Your Own Magic. Let's see what we got. Number 24, Potion. Remember to practice self-love. Mmm, interesting. Very interesting. I just, I gotta, I love that dragon on the King of Cups. He's just so gorgeous. I have a thing for dragons in case you guys didn't notice, right? <laughs> so let's go look at number 24. Number 24, potion. Remember to practice self-love. You're familiar with the concepts of self-love and self-care but either you've never actively practiced them or there's something you've fallen behind on. Either way, you should get back on track. Keep yourself maintained in all ways, big or small. That can mean calling it quits to take a luxurious bath instead, or that can mean putting on a rose water face mask and getting out your planner so you can sort out your life before it gets too out of control. Beautiful. I dig it. I dig it. Let's see what the romance angels gave us today. We got three cards. Ooh, wedding. Interesting. Four of wands and wedding. This situation involves marriage. Okay. I'm scared. Okay. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Interesting. What is this one? Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Interesting. So that could be where the Five of Wands came in, right? With the, um, the challenges, the uh, practice, walking in the other person's shoes try to understand where they're coming from so that, you know, you can have a better understanding of how they operate, right? It's all part of understanding each other, right? And being able to strengthen a bond with each other. What do these sing to you? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's help each other help each other and give each other a new perspective. Other than that, have a great day and I will see you on the next video.